So when we look at cloud and its use by organisations, all the indicators are really, really strong. There's lots of excitement about the potential of cloud. There's a lot of progression in terms of some of the new use cases for cloud. And above all, there's also a lot of investment that's going into the cloud by organisations. However, we also know that all of this excitement and the potential for investment that goes with it are a breeding ground for hype. Now we know that cloud has transformational qualities. It's a platform for innovation. It can underpin new business models and new customer experiences. However, just because the direction of travel is moving towards the cloud doesn't mean that organisations necessarily need to jump on this bandwagon straight away, that they need to migrate quickly, or even that they need to migrate all of their workloads at all. Now, migrating applications and data can be a daunting and complex task which goes some way to help explain the limited uptake of public cloud platforms. Now, according to McKinsey, 60% of organisations have migrated less than 10% of their workloads to the public cloud. So when looking at data and analytics workloads, we know that organisations can ease their transition towards the cloud through hybrid cloud configurations by progressively combining dedicated infrastructure, for instance, alongside private and public cloud features. When we actually look at all the market indicators, all the market data, it confirms what we've suspected for a few years now. And that is that those enterprises that have deployed workloads onto the public cloud, the vast majority of them use more than one service provider. Indeed, IDC states that 90% of best-in-class organisations actually use multiple cloud services. And this is becoming increasingly important for enterprise IT as they don't want to run the risk of lock-in by investing too much in one single cloud provider. We know that there are plenty of occasions and scenarios where migrating certain data workloads to the cloud can save money for organisations. However, at the same time, there is also this notion that reduced costs are guaranteed in the cloud. And this again is reflected in industry research. Now, Forrester indicates that the costs associated with migration and also the unpredictability of costs are two of the top challenges for cloud migrations of data and analytics workloads. Now, as with most things in life, the answer is actually a bit more nuanced and cost consideration depends on an organisation's actual goals, their business, as well as the regulatory environments, but also importantly, what analytics workloads they want to run. And all of these things together need to be factored into their cloud strategy. And there we have it. When it comes to the cloud, there are a multitude of configurations and options available to you. Whether that is one that incorporates on-premises, hybrid cloud or multi-cloud, when it comes to your journey towards the cloud, what you really need is a partner and a provider that can adapt and grow with you.